Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to do another experiment with sound. For our experiment, you only need a few materials. A small box, I'm using an empty Kleenex box. You can use that or a shoe box or a small box you have around the house. And a variety of rubber bands uh, that I also just found around the house. The colored rubber bands, in fact, are from produce bought from the grocery store. I have different sizes of rubber bands that I'm going to be using today. If you only find a couple different sizes, that works just fine. You actually can do this experiment even if you only find one rubber band. I have a thin rubber band, and then the next one is just a little thicker. The next one, a little thicker, wider, is what I'm talking about here. And then our thickest, our widest one of all. Now, in remembering our rule with instruments, the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. The smaller the instrument, the higher the sound. So we think of each of these rubber bands as their own instrument. So we go from very thin, which would be small, and they gradually get bigger. And so our sound should be reflected in that. So we're going to take our rubber band, I'll start with the smallest, the thinnest one, and I'm just going to put it around my box. I do want it over the opening of the box. Then I'll take the next one, and again, however many rubber bands you have is fine. You still can do the experiment. And I'm just gradually adding each rubber band on to the box. Now, the reason we use a box is because the hollow cavity of the box is going to take on the vibrations of the rubber bands and it will make them louder. If I simply take a rubber band in a wide open room and I, I pluck it, the vibrations are going to go throughout this entire room and they're pretty much lost. It's not very loud. If I can get those vibrations to bounce around inside a hollow cavity, it will make those vibrations, those sounds, louder. So that is why we use a box of some size. It's the same concept that our guitars, our violins, our dulcimers, even our harps use. That when the string is plucked, the vibration goes in and bounces around the cavity to enhance the sound, to make it louder. So, let's get back to our rubber bands of the different sizes. As I pluck them, that is the thinnest one. That one is just a little bigger. Those two kind of sound the same. And then the biggest one has the lower sound. So if we go, is a difference in the sound that is produced and it is all because of the size of the rubber band. The thinner, smaller one makes the higher sound. The thicker, bigger one makes the lower sound. So go find some rubber bands and a Kleenex box around your house and make some sound.